Hashimoto thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease characterized by elevated circulating antiperoxidase and antithyroglobulin antibodies. It predominantly affects females. Macroscopically, we usually see diffuse symmetric enlargement of the thyroid gland with irregular surface and nodular transformation. If we take a look at this histological slide, uh, we can still recognize that we are looking at the thyroid gland. Here we have some residual uh, thyroid parenchyma. Here we can recognize the follicles with the colloid content, but these follicles are irregular. Uh, we can uh, see the nodular transformation, and in most areas we see prominent fibrosis. So these fibers bands here made out of collagen fibers, they encircle these residual uh, thyroid nodules. Hashimoto thyroiditis, as I already mentioned, is an autoimmune disease and it is mediated by lymphocytes. And that's why we typically see lymphocytic infiltration of the thyroid gland. So all of these darker areas, that's lymphocytic infiltration and here and there we can even see something that looks like lymph node inside of the thyroid gland. So here we have an area, the darker, uh, darker areas, those are lymphocytes. And here we, uh, here we can even appreciate the follicles with activated germinal centers. Germinal centers, those are these lighter areas in, uh, inside of the follicles. On the hi higher magnification, we can appreciate some typical features of the Hashimoto thyroiditis. Thyroid follicles are atrophic and only some of them are associated with colloid content. There is uh, an interfollicular fibrosis here and all of these darker small cells, those are lymphocytes and they infiltrate uh, diffusely and dispersely uh, the thyroid parenchyma. Here we can see the typical transformation uh, of the thyroid cells or thyrocytes. Uh, these cells, they have more voluminous cytoplasm, which has eosinophilic and granular appearance. Uh, this granular appearance is caused by high mitochondrial content in the cytoplasm, and this is called oncocytic change. So these cells are also called oncocytes, or in this case, they are also termed HERTL cells. Sometimes we can see also nuclear, nuclear enlargement, and these enlarged nuclei have vesicular chromatin or clear chromatin. We need to, we need to be very careful not to misdiagnose uh, papillary carcinoma or follicular variant of papillary carcinoma. Normal papillary carcinoma is papillary, as uh, the name suggests. However, the follicular, follicular variant uh, creates these follicles and it is associated with typical nuclear changes which can uh, look very like these nuclei but they should be bigger we should see some nuclear abnormalities nuclear clefts and the typical orphan anis nuclei or very clear and light uh, nuclei so this is not a papillary carcinoma, this is just oncocytic transformation or hurtle cells, typical for Hashimoto thyroiditis. Another typical feature is squamous metaplasia. So these cells, they look like we are looking at the small focus of epidermis or of squamous stratified squamous epithelium. So squamous metaplasia, here we have fibrosis and all of these cells, those are lymphocytes. Some cases of Hashimoto thyroiditis is associated with prominent fibrosis, and we need to be careful and not to misdiagnose, uh, not to misdiagnose it as renal thyroiditis, which is typically fibrotic, as uh, and it is completely different disease. Another important differential diagnosis is IgG4 positive uh, thyroiditis or IgG4 disease. Um, <clears throat> In that case, we would see much more plasma cells and we can run immunohistochemistry for IgG4, which would be positive in most of the cells or most of the plasma cells. The prominent lymphocytic infiltration can also sometimes look like lymphoma. So we need to be careful not to misdiagnose uh, this Hashimoto thyroiditis as um, a lymphoma. 
So again, here we see prominent fibrous uh, areas. We have some bleeding here. We can see adipose tissue in between the cells, but typically uh, we should appreciate lymphocytic infiltration, oncocytic changes or hurtle cells, and sometimes squamous metaplasia. Those are three typical uh, features of uh, typical microscopic features of Hashimoto thyroiditis. Thanks for watching.